Properties of Exponents, Part 2. Properties Involving Quotients. These are the main concepts we've been working with. We've already looked at the first three dealing with products. Now we're going to look at quotients. Quotient of Powers property. So let's take a look at x to the 6 divided by x squared. If I expand this to show the factors, we can see that two factors of x cancel top and bottom, leaving us with x to the fourth. So when dividing terms with the same base, x in this case, subtract the exponents. x to the a divided by x to the b equals x to the a minus b. x cannot be equal to 0 because we can't divide by 0. Example 7. Simplify. Try these problems on your own. Pause. <laughs> Seven to the eighth divided by seven to the fifth is the same as seven to the eight minus five or seven to the third. In the third example, we have y to the third times one over y to the second, which can be rewritten as y to the third over y to the second, which is y to the three minus two or y to the first. In D, we can combine five to the fifth times five to the fourth as five to the ninth, and then we can subtract nine minus six to simplify it to five to the third. Okay, done with this one. Power of a quotient property. So we have x to the fourth divided by y squared raised to the third power. This property allows us to simplify this expression. We're going to take the three and distribute it with the exponents on the base. So three times four is 12 and three times two is six. So we get x to the 12th over y to the sixth. When finding the power of a quotient, multiply the power in the numerator and the denominator. Example 8, simplify. Try these problems. Pause. So 4 over 3 raised to the 5th would simplify to 4 to the 5th over 3 to the 5th. Negative 3 over x raised to the 3rd would simplify to negative 3 to the 3rd over x to the 3rd, which is negative 27 over x to the 3rd. And in the last one, we're going to distribute the exponent on the outside of the parentheses with the exponents inside on each of the bases. So we end up getting, as our final simplified answer, 4z to the 6th divided by y to the 8th. Here are the notes for this lesson. <laughs>